I was going to let this one thing go but as it turns out there could be a huge lesson on honoring others free will here from Ivo, so, yet again, I'll tell you what happened today. I keep forgetting. I put up a post today that was talking about people who try to get you to join their religion. They send flyers, they try to talk you into it, and then there are the family members who have all but ignored you for years who suddenly take an interest in you again, and they have a track record of trying to convert you to their religion because they're a minister. I was talking to Ivo, who prompted me to write this last comment. This is the Matrix and these are its minions. Any act done to pull someone back into the system of control is not a loving act. I was thinking this was a bit harsh. But he insisted it wasn't. I was thinking, well, maybe they think they're actually doing you a favor or they're concerned about you. To which he replied, did they ask you if you were interested? If not, they're being controlling, not caring, because they are violating your free will. All you have to do is say no and they should move on, however people on this planet, bug, badger, or stalk people who they want to control. This is serious stuff because this is just one of the ways in which being controlling is misconstrued for being caring. And that is rampant in our world because we don't follow universal law nor do we honor others' free will. These people are coming from a place of thinking they know what's best for you and you don't. For those who follow me who are in the 12 steps, this is akin to their believing they are your higher power. No, they're not. Let someone be your higher power and you're setting yourself up to feel powerless because your will will always reassert itself. You will end up in self-conflict when it does. You could even have flashbacks to your original abuse. Who needs it? I say. Yes, since the summer, the religious people have been becoming concerned about me. Imagine that, a woman living on her own with nobody to speak to all day. She's tired, overweight, walks with a cane, and sleeps many hours a day. So she must have a horrible life, right? Wrong. I've never felt more alive than I have now, doing the work I do, and I have something to look forward to when I get up in the morning rather than going to a job. I look forward to having peace and quiet. That is the gift of my everyday life. I love it. I love doing this, I love learning about metaphysics, esoterics and everything else Ivo, Ashtar and El Moria tell us, and it's only going to get better next year and beyond. Of course these people don't know what I do, and if I told them, they'd really be concerned because mind control would tell them I'm a raving nutcase. Aliens don't exist, and they're certainly not running the planet. If I try to argue evidence is even in the Bible, they'd still tell me otherwise. It's all mind control. All of it is. It's not worth it to even discuss it. So I let them think what they want about me, but because they think however they want about me, then they have the need to fix me so they won't think the same ideas about me anymore. Ivo, correct, my love. They try to fix you because their thoughts about your life are off the mark. So they try to change your life so that they can feel better. It is completely selfish. This is projection. They see in you the faults they should be correcting within themselves. Me, wow. Yeah, my mother was like that. She'd try to fix me because then she wouldn't have to worry so much. She didn't have to worry at all. It's just that she was so engulfed in fear that she was afraid for me. Every time an IRA bomb went off in London, I had to call her because she was sure that each bomb had my name on it. This is either a manipulation or my mother was a bit paranoid. Ivo, perhaps both, my dear. Paranoid people are manipulative. Me, yeah, it has to do with their glasses. Either they're rose-colored or they're dark glasses and people who think I need to be saved from myself, I guess, have dark colored glasses on. I don't think my mother was entirely manipulative, perhaps she did it just because she wanted to know I was okay. I did call her. Ivo, so you allowed yourself to be manipulated by a woman who was unreasonably fearful that you would die. Very well. That is your choice. Me, yes. I tried to tell her that I wasn't going to die over there, 
but then one time my train did come in just after a bomb went off at Waterloo Station, I think. I was five minutes later than the bomb. So that time I was pretty close. Ivo, still, you are here now. And my point is, if you continue to allow yourself to be manipulated, you are not doing them any favors as well. Me, true. I was just reminded that my vegan mother, very, let me come here, but she did because she knew I could handle it. Ivo, it is not your job to change people's feelings about yourself. This is codependent. To behave a particular way so others will not be upset with you is their control over you and your compliance. This is not your job to do this. It is their job to change their feelings. Spending your life in someone else's head is not your jurisdiction. You are all self-governing and you need to step into that power. Acquiring mastery over your fears is step one. You must also ask yourself why they are so concerned about you when you are not concerned. There is caring for others but to involve yourself in other people's lives is a bad idea. Why is it a bad idea? Why go around fixing everyone you believe to be broken? Why not have a look at your own life and keep working on yourself instead? This is not selfish, this is what you incarnated to do. If, in fact, somebody asks you for help, then you decide whether you want to help them or not. But first of all, you are all here to improve your own lot in life. When you raise your own frequency, you automatically help others at a collective level. So many people are so concerned about helping others yet they involve themselves in gossip, backstabbing, arguing, bad moods, complaining and the like, but they feel they have something to offer another. Perhaps, but then should you not first work at eliminating this negativity within yourself before you decide you are your brother's helper? Your people do not understand the reality of life. You are given a life in order to work on yourself. So many skip doing this in favor of meddling in the lives of others, because their egos tell them that they are superior. Anyone who lives within the matrix and its limited mindset is prone to being this way. Were these people to think for a second, they would find that their negative idea about your life comes from their own negative ideas of life because if they did not believe these ideas to be true, they could not assign them to you. Their impression of you is created from their own negative mindset. If they had a positive mindset, they would perceive you completely differently. Me, I know. Ivo, you exercise your right to self-governance with an iron hand, my love, and you need to because those with incorrect mindset see you as flawed. You are all perfect, you were made perfect because you are part of God. How can you be flawed? The fact that you perceive yourselves as flawed is because of your low frequency, and it is raising your frequency that should be the focus of your life. Now, there are those who wish to help others. In a world where food bank donations are solicited, the poor are living on the streets, there are drug and alcohol problems which are rampant, why worry about an older woman who refuses your help? Go somewhere where it is needed. Care for the animals. Me, if I need my super's help, I call him. And he goes to fix the taps or helps me to install the air conditioner but that's all I need him for. Maybe he had one of those super mothers who refused his help and this is just a loop that he's playing out with me. Who knows? Ivo, exactly. And that should clue him into the fact that you are capable of asking for his help. Yet he still is overbearing and tries to solicit his religion upon you because he determines your way of life to be flawed. The only way he can do this is by seeing it as flawed so his mindset must be corrected. Me, yes. I get very tired of dealing with people like this. I know what I'm doing. If I need help, I ask for it. What I find a lot of these people are trying to do is to reintegrate me into society in some way. Well, that's the last thing I want. I'm a societal dropout and in doing that I've found my peace. Ivo, you live in duality, and because of the intense negativity that has prevailed on earth for so long, your people are in danger of being taken off the soul matrix. So many who dance with the Illuminati already have lost their soul connection and have become parasitical in nature, dependent on others to survive. 
that is not the way of God. They have become evil which when spelled backwards is live. That is not by coincidence. Does this surprise you when so many of you are spending days vampiring energy from more energetic others with better soul connection? There are so many with parasitic attachments who siphon their energy so in turn, these humans become vampiric in nature and siphon energy off of higher energetic humans. That you are doing this at all should be a warning sign for all of you, but of course, so many do not realize this. Do not allow yourself to cavort with vampires because they will reduce your life energy and possibly provide you with demonic attachments. They still exist upon the planet, try as we may to remove them, they are agile and have good food sources in you. They have threatened to change the entire structure of human life on earth however now this is reduced and will change again after December 21st. This will rid your planet of many of these attachments. They will die as they will not be able to stand the new energy level. Those who attempt to help others who are not requesting help are interfering, attempting to dominate, not cognizant of the true nature of life upon earth, unaware that their attachments are attempting to create greater connection with other earthlings, particularly those of higher light. They see you as decrepit because of their own belief in decrepitude, they see you as lost because of their own belief that a person can be lost. They do not understand the truth of reality, they do not understand who is making them pursue the higher energetic others, they do not understand the meaning of benevolence because they are too arrogant to understand. And they do not understand that all are learning and growing and have internal guidance. Me, so you're saying there's all kinds of wrong with what's going on here. Ivo, yes. If you ask for help, it is because you believe you require help. When you understand you create your entire life and you can manifest whatever you want, do you then continue to believe you require help? Me, no. Ivo, so you know this and are working to manifest the life you want. Anyone attempting to help you without understanding you or understanding their own belief in the weakness of humanity which is absurd, is only seeking to dominate and to take you off of your spiritual path. Me, I get it. Ivo, they believe in the frailty of life, they believe in the negativity of humanity, they do not understand their desire to help is a question of demonic connection, they believe themselves to be so perfect that they cannot see their own life's path and where they, too, need to grow. Do you see what I mean? Me, I figured you had a bomb to drop. Thanks, Ivo. Ivo, there is nothing wrong with humanity on earth. It has been given false ideas about life and made to believe in its own weakness. You are not weak. You are part of God. You must all collectively stop believing in your own disempowerment, and start to believe that you are super beings, because you are. With super manifestation abilities. The reason you are incapable of stopping a habit, or an addiction, is because your frequency has not been raised high enough. What keeps your frequency low is a negative belief system. Me, yes, that's true. If I overeat, it depends on my frequency and it has to be low for me to do it. Thank you Ivo. Ivo, do not connect with anyone who believes you to be flawed. You are on a path of raising your frequency to higher consciousness. They are not. The fact that they believe in a flawed human bears that out. Humanity on your world has a completely flawed image of itself. Completely flawed, and this has been part of the control agenda as well. Me, I love you. I'm sure everyone else here loves you too. Ivo, I love you as well. I even love the haters. Me, lol. We covered a lot of points here in this discussion. Let's sum them up. 1. Anyone who tries to fix you, rescue you without your asking for help is doing so because of the way they perceive you. Instead, they should change their image of you rather than trying to change you. Or change their belief system that makes them see you this flawed way. Often they are saying they care for you to allay their fears. They need to work on them, not on you. Two people believe they are weak, frail, and powerless. This is the Matrix talking. Humans are on the Godhead, able to manifest as part of God's power. You're not weak, you just believe you are. 
so change your beliefs. 3. Anyone who tries to pull you back into the matrix because of their negative idea about you is not loving, they are controlling. 4. This is often done because of their own demonic attachments trying to keep their food source alive. 5. Humanity has been threatened with dropping off the soul matrix due to being too evil. Hopefully this is over with now and we haven't lost too many. 6. Don't let people help you unless you ask for it. Give them the right to say no as well. They may not be up to it or your higher self may be putting you in for a lesson in self-empowerment. Case in point, when I thought I needed help, nobody was there for me. Why? Because I had to do it myself. So forgive people who are never there for you. 7. Nobody is your higher power, you are. 8. You do not have to behave a certain way to help others feel less fearful. Their problem is their fear and that should be dealt with. 9. Negative thinkers and positive thinkers view the world and you completely differently. 10. Your perception of yourselves as imperfect comes from matrix manipulation. 11. What everyone is suffering from is too much matrix. A matrix mind sees problems and tries to fix them so it stops suffering. Fixing a problem from the ego is not a fix, only soul can heal. 12. There's a big difference between being of higher consciousness and being arrogant. If you don't know what it is, assume you're being arrogant. Our other videos can help. Without knowing one, it's hard to know the other.